Well, hello there, so fucking professional, that doesn't, just don't mind that. Anyways, what I'm here to show you is how to use that to Unity Converter. So, when you buy the product, well, you will get the zip file, and guess what, you gotta extract it. And after you extract it, uh, it's very easy, just open Unity, here you go, empty project, no nothing, no anything. You gotta move in the lightmaps folder, you gotta make another folder called plugins, basically drag this DLL then you wanna import the package um, so this is all you gotta have on unity side uh, so you don't need that anymore basically then you get the apps folder in this apps folder you're gonna have uh, replace this one uh, victim dot that with any uh, world you want you gotta be the you gotta have the same name though uh, it cannot be uh, a different name right so what you want to do is basically uh, open this little executable file don't mind the name it's just a random name that I put because I was working with lift engine this is a map from crossfire uh, the models of the hands also are so uh, yeah um, oh snap I, I, do, I do not own any of these models sounds textures whatever you see here not neither the map this is just like a testing thing it's for educational purposes so yeah anyways uh, after you are in the map it's not yet it's not on yet you gotta press T on your keyboard so you press C the the game will freeze for a little bit so just wait a little while there you go it's in it, it, it froze it Right then on the corner, you can actually see victim that that. So that means it's done and ready to go. So you just want to close the game. Uh, you have these new two files. You want to create a new folder to sort them, like something like I don't know that or something. You just put that in, and you're you're good to go. Another thing, if you want to have the textures, you create a new another resources folder and you put the the textures in there but one thing you gotta notice is if you have the textures at that dtx file um, you gotta convert that so to, con to do that you just create a new project on this thing uh, okay okay yes uh, just put a random thing in there just wait for it to load and after it loads you can close it I should have a new folder, Project Zero, and over here on textures, you just put all your textures. Uh, I'm gonna do that right now. There you go. So now to convert those, you gotta reopen DE Edit. Okay. Um, wait for it to load. It it might take some seconds. Nothing too much. Um, so just select every single texture you have here. Right click, export TGA files. Uh, yes. Sorry for the noise in the background. Um, you go again to the textures folder you have a bunch of TGA files so you just type in TGA to just see the TGA files you wanna copy everything in the resources folder and it should load okay good cool awesome now that we have uh, the textures hopefully it's all of them all you gotta do is right click on map lift check import map not blend minor BAM now we just wait a little bit and uh, we got a parallel null reference. Let's see what. Oh, shader. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, so I apologize. I forgot to import the shaders. So there's going to be two downloads on the product page. You have the shaders as well. So just uh, this shader folder, you have to extract this um, on the assets right there. I mean, it can be anywhere, as long as you have uh, all those, you are gonna be good to go. Uh, it has a bunch of shaders, so it might take a little bit. I don't usually use all of these, but since I imported them all, I mean, we can use them freely. Anyways, so map, uh, again, imported. I apologize for forgetting that. Um, and boom zaga boom here you have so oops if you click there you can actually see uh, the shadows the thing is the map is too dark so you just want to go red and settings ambient light put it all the way up and you're gonna have it uh, just the same thing as in game so now this isn't perfect 
uh, the, the missing textures you have here, two missing textures, you gotta fix it. I just kinda didn't um, import everything, right? So, I mean, I, I'm guessing that that white texture is the ground, so I'm just gonna put something in, in there. You can see right now, it got. It, it is there, it is working. I think that's actually the right texture. Anyway, you, you can have a little, some little bags like that. Um, it's it's still working in progress. I'm gonna update it. Um, I also want to go over to project settings, quality, and make it be on fantastic. This isn't go uh, isn't going to lower your frames per second as long as well you don't use a bunch of crazy shadows. Um, but this will fix the some map bags that happen when you don't have that on fantastic. So. Other bugs you might have noticed. Uh, I'm not sure if those two are bugs. They're gonna go to that. Those in one second. These are missing textures. Uh, it, it says the number, the name of the texture that I'm missing, but I cleared the errors. But yeah, there are some darker things. I, I c uh, couldn't find really a fix to this, but again, I will update this, this tool. But getting to what I was saying, there are some objects. Uh, I think these uh, and this statue. Which uh, they are um, the shadow was in affecting them. So to fix that, it's quite simple. You just gotta find the. For instance, the, this is the those pot things. You can change the color to make sure. So if those okay, the, I, but if those aren't lit enough, we just gotta you uh, put this shade on unlit vertex color light map, and you can see they are pretty darker now. But I think those are are, are all right. The only path, okay. I think this is yeah, exactly. So just bam, and now it's gonna be texture, uh, not textured. Uh, it's gonna be uh, affected by the light map. This one as well. Uh, I'm not sure. What, okay, that one as well. Okay, bam. Now it's affected, and maybe this one. Exact. Oh, snaps. That wasn't exactly what I meant to do. It's this one. There you go. So that just fixed it, as you can see. Okay, please. Okay, as you can see, it is now affected by the lining. It doesn't look like all bright and, st and stuff like that. Um, yeah. So those are the only things you have to uh, make sure to fix. Um, if the texture is repeated, uh, I think that's what, that was the issue. It one texture is used multiple times. It just doesn't like it and doesn't put it twice. And some lightning will be bugged, but the rest is working fine. Uh, and of course, the darker parts there. But that's basically it. Um, you are free to buy it if you want. It's well, well it's not free. You get what I mean. Uh, I'm trying to find if this corner here is right. I mean, it's probably it probably is. Uh, there you go. That's another one to be bugged. Now it looks a lot better.